What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and welcome back to another unboxing. I appreciate your faces. It is getting a little bit warmer here in the Midwest. I think it's moved up from like super cold to like 40-ish. The snow has melted, it did sleet and hail yesterday, but that's just part of living in the Midwest. All right guys, before we get into the big Polar Star box blow, I actually, really, I actually have a small box here, and you guys know that I'm absolutely a sucker for flashlights, so when Through Night reached out to me, I'm not being paid to say any of this, but they did send me this flashlight for free. This is the Through Night DSS V4. I have so many flashlights, man. Oops, that's not a flashlight. But yeah, one of the things I think that's most unique about this flashlight, I think is really cool. They have like a smart switch here. So it's got like a lower mode and you can hold on it to go brighter and you can hold on it to go brighter. But they also have a like super bright mode as well. So if you kind of want to use the shorter, I kind of keep this one in like light for low light situations, like if I'm reading or something. But then if I want to use like a bigger light, I'll just throw this bad boy. And a lot of my lights don't do that. They kind of have to hold this for a while. So they don't really activate as easily, but absolutely love this flashlight. And if you guys want to pick one up, you can check the link in the description below. Now onto this big, bad Polar Star. All right, guys, so I'm going to be completely honest. I ordered two super, super nice Polar Star packages for around my birthday weekend. Um, and both of the sellers on eBay canceled on me. One guy literally messaged me. He was like, hey, Alec Mag 111, uh, super cool that you bought this. And then stopped responding and then was like, hey, sorry, something broke. And another dude said his dog knocked over his gun and broke something off of it after i bid on the items and then won them so i messaged him a bunch of times and i was like hey so did you fix it so did this happen and he's like no and literally didn't hear anything back wow this box is kind of falling apart it may only be one gun but this is a super 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 nice gun i think you guys are going to like it a lot this one I actually bought from a dude named Dylan. Alrighty, boys, the gun for the unboxing today. Check this bad boy out. This is one of the Colt GNP super, super nice Mark 18 builds. Uh, Dylan reached out to me, actually, I believe it was on Instagram. He was like, hey, man, I'm looking to get out of the sport, and I want to sell you my gun. So he didn't have that big of a collection from what I understood, but he just mainly had his gun they play with. I think he might be taking some of his real gear and kind of transitioning it to real steel stuff, but he ended up selling me this bad boy. I know some of you are going to freak out. Oh, no, it's not a Polar Star. But those of you that also love AEGs, I honestly really love both. Those of you that love AEGs are going to be like, this is a sweet gun. All right, so we're going to start out up front. We just have a normal standard birdcage flash hider. It is a little bit off rotation-wise. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but I really like it when the birdcage flash hider actually looks the same or any of my flash hiders are kind of in the position that they're intended for real steel. It might just be a thing or once I've gotten real steel stuff, I just care. Up next, we have some really nice XTM panels. So these are actually the like more enhanced, newer XTM panels. They just have a little bit of texture on them. And I love what he's done with the black and tan. I used to do this all the time with my guns when I ran XTM panels. I run mostly M-Lock stuff now, so I don't have a ton of Picatinny stuff left. And then up top, he has one of the N, I think these are the Night Evolution flashlights. Once again, absolutely love flashlights. Ooh, actually has a light on it. That's sweet. So he literally left the batteries in it. Actually kind of like, it's a little bit weird position. He left the EOTech on. How is there still battery? Wow. Wow. So pretty solid little flashlight. I believe these Night Evolution flashlights are the ones that are modeled after like the Surefires. I'm not super knowledgeable with like the high-end flashlights, but I know Night Evolution makes a pretty decent repro. It does have the front glass shot out. It doesn't matter a ton. If it gets shot one more time, that will be a problem. But as long as the bulb is still good, then it is still good. I absolutely love the burnt bronze Mark 18 rail on this. I think this looks so, so, so good. I just really love the Daniel Defense rail system. I've been trying to get a real Daniel Defense AR for a long time now, but they are so few and far between. You really either have to know somebody or work at a gun shop in order to get them, but I think they look so, so, so cool. Up top here, we have an EOTech. I believe this is like a 551. I believe this is like the shortest one possible. That right there is how you know that it is one of the shorter EOTechs because it has these stupid awkward watch batteries. I really, really do not like these because they're a lot harder to find. They're just so small. I really like the ones that have the single CR-133A. I think that's the 553 or the one with the AA's, which is the 552. 
um, at least those are the airsoft versions. I'm not exactly sure what all the real ones run, but I think the single CR123A one looks the best. It also uses the battery that most everybody has access to already with flashlights, and I know everybody kind of has access to double A's, but it's really nice to run that one single battery. I will keep a few, at Nilsson events, I'll keep a few CR123As, honestly, on like the back of my helmet or in my admin pouch, depending on what setup that I'm running, because you never know when somebody needs some batteries. The trades on this thing are absolutely beautiful. Colt did an awesome job with these trades, or GMP went through the Colt licensing and stuff. This is property of US government. I just think these look so cool. I don't know if that's a unique ceiling number or not. I would guess it's not. It's probably just a normal one. Um, it has like the Colt, I can't read upside down. The Colt Hartford, Connecticut, where they are from. Absolutely beautiful. It's really cool what he's done back here as well. So this one does not have a back rear sling attachment point. So he's run one of the fake, Mad. I think these are the Magpul RSA rear sling adapter is what they stand for. I have a real one. This one is fake because it doesn't have the Magpul emblem on top, but these are pretty nice if you kind of want to run something there. They actually fit really well for slings kind of running on that top rail segment. Sometimes I find if it's down here, it gets in your, the way of your hand a little bit. So I really like the position that he's got on that. Moving down to the grip, we have these PTS EPM enhanced grips. These are absolutely awesome. I love how beefy they are. I honestly think that they feel really, really good with how big they are. Um, they're just, they fit in the hands really well. I do not like the, any sort of groove right there. I just really think these ones fit my hands the best because I have like medium man hands. I think I wear a large and Oakley gloves. Moving back to the stock, I'm actually not 100% sure what stock this is. It is wired to Dean's, which is way better, but I've not, I think this is like one of the Evike stocks, if I'm not mistaken. It does have a pretty easy access to the back if you kind of want to pull it out and throw your battery in there. Obviously just running buffer tube lipos, but this is a really, really solid setup. I did forget to mention that there is the RVG here. I kind of, you guys obviously probably already saw that. He does have the tape for the flashlight and he's got it taped up here as well, just so it kind of stays nice. Oh, he's got the constant on too. Yes, yeah, so if you want to run. That constant on position is almost better than this grip here, at least for kind of how I shoot. I guess if you're wrapping here or whatnot, but I tend to stay here, so I probably have to squeeze like my bottom two fingers to activate it, but it doesn't seem like it'd be much of a problem. Shouldn't throw off the accuracy too much. All right, accessories time. So we did include three of these tiny Valken lipos. They do feel pretty good. They feel a little bit bloated on one or two of them, um, but these are really nice. These are 7.4s. I definitely recommend 11.1. A gun like this obviously can handle it, but I did run a lot of 7.4s back in the day because I remember sometimes I was like, oh, it's gonna hurt the gun. And technically it does speed up the longevity and can kind of hurt the trigger contacts, but you just use the gun. And then when it breaks, upgrade it and just put some nicer internals in there. Pay it someone who's near you. That's a good tech and do it or learn to do it yourself. I have a brother who's a really good tech, so I have not needed to do it, but man, is it helpful. He also included three of the Evike BAMF mags. I actually like these. I've never really run these in the field because I love my GMP ones so much, but they do feel really nice and they're really affordable and I've sold a lot of these because people seem to really like them. And then he also included one of the Ace Tech Predator L suppressors. I have not seen these Predator Ls at all. Looks like it will just screw on there. I believe it's probably both threads. Looks like there's threads on either direction. I'm not sure if these are both counterclockwise. I'd assume most of all of them are counterclockwise except for like one or two brands, but it looks like it fits really well there. Honestly, it looks like it fits right to the edge, which is pretty cool and kind of has that Mark 18 suppressed look if you want to go super cool. I know this video was a little bit more low key this week, guys. I'm hoping next week will be a banger. I have some stuff that I've really been working on that I think you guys will super, super, super enjoy. But this has been Alec Mac 111 and I will see you guys on next week's video. Peace.